In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph a log with a base. So graph a logarithmic function where the log has a base using the TI-84 plus graphing calculator. When you graph on this calculator, you need to go to Y equals, clear out anything that's already there. You also want to make sure that these plots up here don't look like that. If those plots are darkened, you need to go up and hit enter to turn them off. The plots need to be turned off. The other thing that you may want to do before you get started is push zoom six. Zoom number six is zoom standard. That just resets your graph to a standard negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. That way, when you go to graph, you'll be able to actually see what you are graphing. Okay, so the y equals is already in there. We need to enter log base two of x plus three minus four. To do log base two, we're going to use the log base feature, which is found by pushing the alpha button and then window and then number five. Alpha window five. So alpha is the green button. Window is the second button on the left next to y equals. And that pops up this little function menu and option number five is log base. You don't even have to arrow up. You can just push the number five and it will select that feature. This gives you the template that you can now fill in. So we want the log base two of x plus three, right arrow to get out of your parentheses, minus four. You can then push graph and see a picture of this graph. To get points to graph, you push second and then the graph button again, that goes into your table. And I like to pick the first point after all the errors. The error basically tells you, yes, there is an asymptote and we can't go beyond that asymptote. So the first point that we want to pick is negative two, negative four. And if you've got points that are whole numbers, by all means, grab those. So then on this graph, and I should probably draw in my X and Y axis quick. First of all, the stuff in the parentheses tells you where your asymptote is. Our asymptote is going to be at negative three because that graph is shifted left three. And if you go back and look at the graph, you can see that instead of approaching that Y axis, it approaches the line X equals negative three. So at negative three, I would draw in a dashed line so I know not to cross that line. Then I've got my points negative two, negative four, negative one, was that negative three? That must have been negative three. Did I just not write the negative down? Yep. Negative one, negative three, one, negative two. This graph on the right continues over. On the left, it's going to approach and get super close to that asymptote, but not cross it and not touch it. Your pen may appear to touch it, but you definitely do not want to cross it. The domain is tied to the asymptote. Your X values are all on the right side of that asymptote, so your domain is X is greater than negative three. And the range for log graphs is all real numbers.